Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a short circuit calculation. So here's the available utility infinite assumption. So we have a 1500 kBA transformer with a 480 volts in a three phase with a 3.5% impedance and a 3.45% reactance with a 0.56 resistance. Then we have a, a line to line uh, current equals 1804 amps, then we have a 200 amp switch with the fuse, and we're gonna find the fault number one. And we also have a 400 amp switch with the fuse, motor protection, and a fault number two, but we're gonna solve for fault number one. So here's the example, short circuit calculation, fault number one. We have the, um, we're gonna determine the transformer full load amperes. So we have uh, the line-to-line -line amps equals kVA times 1,000 divided by line-to-line -line voltage times 1.732, which is square root of 3, equals 1,500 times 1,000 divided by 480 volts times square root of 3 equals 18 of 4 amps. Then we're going to find the transformer multiplier equals the formula is 100 over the transformer impedance, which equals 100 divided by 3.5, and that will give us 28.57. Then, number three, we're going to determine the transformer led through sur circuit current, which equals short circuit equals the current of line to line times the multiplier. So then that will give us 51,540 amps. Then we're going to find the, the factor, which it goes 1.732 times L, which is the length times the current three phase divided by C, which is your constant for conductors and busway times the voltage line to line, and that will give us, we plug in the numbers, that will give us 0 0.0349. Then we're going to find the, the multiplier. We're going to calculate for the multiplier. We use that one over uh, one plus F, that will give us 0 0.9663. Then we're going to calculate the available short circuit symmetrical RM current at the point of fault. And then we're gonna use the short circuit times M, 49,803, and then with total, that will give us 57,019 amps. Thank you.